the arts are an economic engine. And if you harness the power of the collective, uh, we can really showcase the region as an arts destination. We have as many, if not more, theater companies, galleries, and other types of uh, arts-related businesses as just about any other major city in North Carolina. The Arts Council is a nonprofit arts organization that looks to build innovative private and public sector uh, initiatives that energize our city and stimulate commerce. Of course, our focus is multidisciplinary. We advocate for the visual arts, for the performing arts, for the literary arts, everything. We show visitors to our area and residents who live here as well that we're serious about supporting the arts. Fourth Friday Gallery Nights is probably one of the best examples of the innovative public-private partnerships that we've talked about. It's not just nonprofit galleries. In fact, most of our galleries are for-profit. One of the cool things about Fourth Friday is that that is when most of the art openings happen in Wilmington because we know we've got an influx of art lovers who are going to go from gallery to gallery to support the artists emerging and veteran artistic talent that we have in this community. One of the neat features of the Pedestrian Art Public Sculpture Series is the fact that we uh, provide interactive, really immersive experiences for people who happen upon them. They're able to find out the artist's inspiration behind that particular piece by either scanning with their smartphones or even browsing. Currently we have 12 pieces of sculpture um, which will stay up for a year and then uh, we rotate them out and bring in 12 new sculptures. The arts mean business, and really smart cities get that. One of the things that we participated in was um, Arts and Economic Prosperity 4, which at that time was the most comprehensive uh, survey of the arts in America. What we saw was supporting the equivalent of 800 full-time jobs, a million dollars going into state um, tax coffers, and a million dollars staying in local tax coffers. It's big business. And that's why we're so um, thankful that we have the support of the city of Wilmington. Not only that, they also support our pedestrian art program and several other initiatives like our Ears on the Arts Listening Tour and Wilmington's first um, Art Summit. Without the Arts Council, I think I would have missed out on maybe 95% of all that originality and creativity in the community. Our city is dynamic, it's changing, and the partnership between the city and the Arts Council makes us the best place that we can be. So the sky is the limit in terms of how we can shape our own city and the great things that can happen in our own backyard.